What's going on guys? Frank Rich, creative masthetic muscle, national level bodybuilder, coming at you today from the Critical Bench Compound. Wanna talk about bodybuilding competition or fitness shows, getting ready or being a competitor in this sport um, or pageant of competitive bodybuilding, the world of it. And I'll bring you guys a little bit to the insights or kind of some of my experiences. Now I myself have been competing um, you know, locally and within the state of Florida, now I'm nationally ranked uh, within the Classic Physique Division since 2009. So I have about eight years behind my belt. Um, but prior to getting or embarking on my first uh, journey in, into the competition world, I already had a decade of training experience. And I think this is where a lot of guys really fall short in the beginning is coming up now, especially with the age of social media, we have Instagram, we have Facebook, we have all these platforms where we can share our stories. As so many young kids, young, young girls, they see the glamour of what these competitors are doing. And obviously we know that Instagram and social media is everybody else's highlight reel. So they see, you know, they see what is being sold to them. And what really ends up happening is, you know, you're 20, 21 years old and you first walk into the gym and you feel the rush, you feel the adrenaline of building muscle. You start to gain some confidence. You start to see your physique change and you think that you are now ready to become a competitor. Um, and guys, I, I don't want to discourage anybody from doing it because bodybuilding has changed my life. It's allowed me to learn the discipline, learn the work ethic, to now start two separate businesses. So I do believe a lot of the value comes in the right training, but I think a lot of people fall too, sh they, they get caught up too early. Um, they think that the stage is gonna lead them to Insta fame, it's gonna lead them to a celebrity status. And first of all, we need to realize that we all have a genetic potential. We have genetic limits on the muscle that we're gonna be able to build. Um, the guys that we're seeing walking on the Olympia stage, they were born with certain abilities to put on muscle mass, to respond to training, to respond to food, to respond to drugs, much different than the majority of us can. So first of all, we need to realize, okay, what is our potential when it comes to building muscle? Do we have an elite level physique starting out to reach that potential. And then we can set our expectations. But really guys, um, if you haven't been training for probably four to five years already, you don't really, I don't wanna say you don't have the right to try to be a competitor, but you need to put in some work in the gym. You need to build a foundation within your body. Um, a competition training is gonna be taxing, it's gonna be grueling, it's gonna be mentally draining. Um, what you have to go through for 12, 16, 20 weeks, mentally, physically, emotionally, is gonna put a lot of strain on your life. Uh, it's gonna put a lot of strain on your relationships. Um, was just having a conversation last night with my girlfriend who is a professional fitness competitor within the WBFF, and we were talking about a process that I went through three years ago and getting ready for one of my shows. Um, I did a 16 week prep and literally I ate every meal at exactly the same time, 7, 10, 1, 4, 7, and 10 p.m. for 16 weeks straight. At the time, I was working in a corporate position. Um, I would be on the phone with clients when the alarm went off to eat, and I would have to end the phone call. I became that obsessed. Um, now, was that discipline and work ethic good? In some ways, yes, but it also caused a lot of strain in my career. It caused a lot of strain in other relationships that I had. So these are just some of the things that people don't really talk about you know i know there's a big world of you know a big cult now that's saying you know talks about the if it fits your macros um i don't truly believe that anybody's ever going to get fully staged lean or be a high level competitor um if they're eating pop tarts and processed foods i think you really need to pay attention to the quality of your foods that you're getting in um it's going to take some sacrifice to get to a sub six sub five percent body fat. So once again, guys, I'm not here to discourage anybody from doing it. Like I said, bodybuilding has been a blessing in my life. It's changed me as a person. It's taken me out of a lot of dark times that I had and really brought in me into a new world, created some great relationships, um, you know, opened up business opportunities for me. So there is a lot of benefit that can come out of it. But I want to make sure, guys, before you ever think about stepping on the stage, that you're prepared to commit to it. Um, it's not something that can take an 80% commitment. I don't even want to say it's going to take a 90%. You need to be able to give 100%. So make sure you have, you know, a strong relationship. Somebody supporting you. They need to understand what you're about to go through. Um, maybe somebody that's got 
fitness a part of their life. You know, it's that that's could be another thing to really think about is relationships. You know, while you're sitting here dedicating hours of your day to training, to nutrition, um, you know, making sure you're getting quality sleep, you don't want to be living or dating somebody that's living the alternate lifestyle. Um, that's only going to cause stress on you. It's going to cause stress on the relationship and ultimately lead to probably some bad things happening. So like I said, guys, before ever thinking about stepping on a stage, put in some work, build a foundation. Um, for very few people, does bodybuilding become a means of living? Um, you know, can there be money that's made around the sport? Yes, but from a stage, there's maybe a handful of people in the world that live their life you know, supporting themselves through bodybuilding. So first thing is realizing what are your expectations? What is your genetic limits? What are your capabilities when it comes to building your physique? And then set your goals from there. I think it's a great hobby to have. I think training and the concept or mindset of bodybuilding, building our physical being is great. But if we wanna get into the competition, have the right expectations, know why you're doing it, be ready to commit a good portion of your life to following the process and following the journey. You can be successful within your own terms, um, but just understanding what that success really is. Um, so that's it guys, you know, like I said, bodybuilding is a great world to live in. It's got some unbelievable people, it's got some unbelievable companies that have, you know, that are supporting the sport. Um, but just understand guys, what it means to you and what ultimately you're trying to get out of it. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Really hope you found some value in that. Um, if you're looking to you know, build up your body, maybe in the process of getting ready for that, that, uh, that contest, we got a free report. We got three tips for building lean muscle mass we wanna give away to you guys. All you gotta do is hit the link in the description box, enter your email address, and we're gonna send a report over to you right away. It's www.criticalbench.com forward slash lean dash mass. Also, to make it a little bit easier, you can just hit this box right here, follow that same process, put your email address in, we're gonna send the report to you right away. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, guys. Also, drop us a comment, tell us what you thought, tell us what you liked, tell us what you didn't like. We'd love to hear from you. If you have not yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn the notification symbol on so you're notified every time a new video is released. Really appreciate you guys tuning in, and we'll talk to you soon.